Welcome to this short service of prayers, readings and reflection on life's pilgrim journey. We gather near the place that St. David found closeness with God, knowing God best as Christians have done throughout the ages as a creator, father, redeeming son and life-giving Holy Spirit. We pray we may also know God's closeness, his compassionate love, and his wise direction in our lives. We begin with the collect, the special prayer for St. David, who called others to be joyful, to keep the faith, and to be faithful in the little things of life. Let us pray. God our Father, you gave St. David to the people of Wales to uphold the faith. Encouraged by his example, may we joyfully hold fast to the things which lead to eternal life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be all honour and glory, now and for ever. Amen. During the reading of Psalm 67, you may like to ponder for a while, to think of all it took for the briefest of encounters to realize that following Jesus was inevitable and the destiny for many. For others, it may take years of wrestling or avoidance or false starts to come to a commitment to let Jesus lead us in all things. Yet we believe he knows us and the best path ahead better than we do and it is in compassionate, redeeming love he calls us to follow. May God be gracious to us and bless us, and make his face to shine upon us, that your way may be known upon the earth, your saving power among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God, let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy, for you judge the peoples with equity and guide the nations upon the earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. The earth has yielded its increase. God, our God, has blessed it. May God continue to bless us. Let all the ends of the earth revere him. As we step up a gear, we are given more material for contemplation in the final few days before Christmas. We think of Mary visiting Anne. We think of Mary now waiting to give birth, pondering in her heart at the mystery surrounding her child, the promises of the angel, hinting at all that the Christ child will be, unfamiliar images, they call out for our attention and whet our appetite to learn more about the longed-for promised Messiah and the stories that foretell his birth. We too are constantly journeying. We never stand still for long. We step out into the future with the light of the world as our guide, ready for all the challenges and opportunities that lie ahead. Yet with Christmas nearly upon us, the sense of panic rises. Are the presents bought and wrapped? Is the turkey going to fit into the oven? How can the children's sheep costumes for the nativity look more like sheep and less like glue stuck and cotton wool? And yet if we will allow, also the sense of mystery deepens. The quiet anticipation of the birth of the Christ child grows. Inside us, that expectation can bubble and rise. The childlike excitement of Christmas Day can revisit us all, child and adult alike, as we wait with bated breath for the first cry of that newborn Son of God. The strange but powerful imaginary causes us to stop and to think, or at least it should. This Jesus, when he comes, what will he be like? 
We need to spend time, like Mary, pondering the images. Let them speak to our imagination. Our sense of anticipation deepens, but will our lives be changed as we once again accept the amazing, incredible gift from God? Will it renew and revive us all? God willing, it will, but we must be mindful at this time of year not to be too busy, to remember to be kind and caring and patient. For some, Christmas can be the saddest, loneliest, most stressful and heartbreaking time. God came to earth as a man to offer love, compassion, hope, not just at Christmas, but for life. We have to spread this gift around it is for us all. Let us pray. As we maybe have reflected ourselves over our own pilgrim journey, it is time to reflect over the many years, or maybe just over the last few days, as we journey again to the manger in Bethlehem. So what brought you here? Where are you now in life? What are you seeking? We pray for ourselves and others who visit this cathedral today. Lord Jesus Christ, St. David, Saviour and Lord, you are the way, the truth, and the life. Be our way. Give us grace to follow your lead, courage to persevere when the going is tough. And when we stumble, let us not be afraid to take hold of your outstretched hand as you offer us a fresh start. Be our truth. Give us your wisdom so we may know how to walk in the paths of honesty and integrity. Be our life. Revive us when we falter, refresh us when we tire, and bring us to share in your risen life, now and for all eternity. Amen. We pray for the homeless, for the refugee, for those who this Christmas have no shelter, no food, no companionship, and so we pray for our family and friends near and far. Amen. We say together the prayer that Jesus taught us in the language of our choice. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Will you please now listen to the canticle, The Nunc Dimittis. thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word for mine eyes have seen thy salvation which thou hast prepared before the face of all people to be a light to lighten the Gentiles and to be the
the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. You may wish to stay and reflect on how you desire to go forward from here. Remember, in compassionate love, Jesus Christ calls you to follow him, promising in return his companionship, guidance, strength, and peace, whatever life brings. We close with prayer, after which please stay and enjoy this holy space for as long as you like. Let us pray. Almighty God, awaken in us the zeal of your servant David, that we may joyfully follow you in singleness of heart through Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. <laughs>